Hello, Captains, and welcome back. This is The Doctor, and this is Let's Play Star Trek Online on the free-to-play version of Star Trek Online with Rami Summers, our tactical character, flying a patrol escort here. Uh, some updates since the last video. It is now the summer event. The summer event is now live on Star Trek Online on RISA. You can go there and do all the wonderful summer activities. But the good thing about this summer event, which is going to help our character here, is that the reward this time is an escort style ship. It is an alien origin. It is the Vorgons. It is a Vorgon ship, so that's quite unique. Uh, we've never seen them in the game yet or uh, their ships at all. Uh, there was, of course, the episode of TNG where they showed up and helped Picard with the um, Tox Utat. But, yeah, that's what we're getting, is a Vorgon escort. Naturally, this is a... I guess it's going to be a Tier 6 ship. Yeah, it is a Tier 6 ship. So, um, this will benefit us. This is one of those ways where, even though we are free to play and we don't really get any more ships after our patrol escort here... You know, we don't get any more free Federation ships. We can still get free ships by doing the special events that come up every year. And the summer event, well, this is one way here for us to get another free ship. And I am going to do that. And uh, it is an escort, so it will match the kind of play style that I want with this character. So that is something that I will pursue. Um... Right here you can see the festival is going on June 9th, 12 p.m. to July 21st, so you got quite a bit of time. And if we go to, if we go to, I believe it is our reputation and events, um, yes, here we go. Unlock the summer event prize vendor. So I first have to go to Risa and unlock the vendor, but then once I do that, then I should have access to the actual reputation thing to add for the ship so I will do that I don't know that I will actually record any of that because pretty much what that's going to involve is me going in every day and doing the daily to earn the the, the favors here to get enough of them you know in order to buy the ship so I it's probably something I don't need to record because it's gonna be very repetitive but just note that it is something I'm going to do, and if it does warrant recording, I will do that. I might record the very first time that I go to Risa, maybe after this playthrough today, because I want to do the next run in the Delta Quadrant. But then after that, I may go ahead and go to Risa and get the party started, as it were, on this character, so that it is opened up and I can add the ship to it. Anyway. We'll get to all that. I just want to let y'all know that's going to happen. Another thing that is uh, has happened on this character is that I have leveled up to the uh, Delta Alliance Tier 2 now. So I actually have Tier 2 opened of Delta Alliance Reputation. That has uh, offered me some more passive trait skills. Also, I have Tier 1 of the Dyson Joint Command opened up. For some reason, somehow, I had Dyson Sphere Marks. I don't even remember where those came from. But I had enough Dyson Sphere Marks, for some odd reason, to actually open up Tier 1 of the Dyson Joint Command reputation as well. Probably a reputation I won't use on this character, but for right now, since we don't have a lot of traits, I will use the two traits that that gave me. It also opened up this Unexpected Friend mission. Once we get to the Dyson Joint Command and we get into those missions, there's something I can do there to part of the storyline with the reputation. But anyway, all that's kind of separate from the Delta Quadrant storyline we're in now. But just note, I, I did add those traits. So the uh, two traits that I have now are our two space traits from the Delta Alliance. I have a plus 5% armor penetration space trait and a plus 25% flight speed and flight turn rate trait. So I actually will move faster and turn faster now, and I'll do that armor penetration as well in space. And then on ground, I added the two, um, the two Dyson ones, and this one is plus 16% critical severity, so my critical severity just went up on ground, and a plus 10% all damage bonus resistance. So now my, my damage resistance on ground is better as well. 
Um, now I know I told you guys I was having a resistance problem in space. So I fixed that. Hopefully, I added another neutronium. This is just a Mark 12 rare, plus 18.8 .8 kinetic damage resistance and all ener energy damage resistance, in addition to the other one I already had. So this is more resistance now in space, and that gives us 34.8% um, energy resistances, 35.6 kinetic, and 35.6 antiproton. So now I have a whole lot more resistances because my shield strength is not that good and my whole strength is not that good. But my resistances are now higher, so hopefully that will help because remember we were taking a whole lot of hull damage on our ship when we were fighting the Vaudoir or pretty much anything. So now hopefully this will be a lot better. So those are the changes I've made. Let's get it on. Delta Quadrant. I also sold a lot of things. We had a lot of things to sell, and I, I used the exchange when I could. And let's see, we are up to um, 359,000 energy credits, so quite a leap from where we were before. And that is very good. So the gear that we're getting now, the drops and everything from everything I'm doing, is helping a lot. Also, I did go ahead and uh, redo the uh, two Kobali missions on Kobali Prime to get our ancient power cells. So we're up to six ancient power cells, 554 delta marks. And then I even ran the crystalline entity event once on this character while it was still going. It's not online now. It, it was yesterday when I ran this. So I did get one crystalline entity event run in, but basically that just helped me get some more loot and things to sell and some dilithium. Can't hurt. All right, let's see what the next mission is. We have come down here, all that glitters. Join the doctor to respond to a medical emergency and you'll have to deal with more than a virus. Are you familiar with Voyager's emergency medical hologram? He's quite unique, even for an old EMH Mark I. Now he holds rank in Starfleet in his own right. We've received a message that the doctor requires assistance to deal with a medical situation on an Ocampa freighter in the Shenda system. He's currently en route in one of Voyager's shuttles. Normally I'd send a medical vessel, but we've seen a spike in Vadwa attacks and I want to make sure he has all the resources he'll need. Could you go to the Shenda system and assist the doctor? I suppose I can. Ooh, I'll get a personal reward, EMH Mark I, and a kit reward. So let's go to the Shinda system. So as you can see, playing these missions helps buff your character as time goes on. It takes a while, but they do lead to good things, and especially opening up those reputations lead to really good things. You definitely want to upgrade those uh, reputations when you can. Now the um, Delta Marks that I'm getting through the Kobali Homeworld missions, uh, they also offer Iconian Marks. So after I do the Delta Reputation, I will do the Iconian Reputation as well through that system. And that will help. Here we go, Shinda. We have arrived in the Shindal system, Captain. The distress signal is coming from the transport dead ahead, but we've received no response to our hails. I'll keep trying, but perhaps our guest knows more. The emergency medical hologram, known as the Doctor, is, a near, is in a nearby shuttle and awaiting our hail. Okay, well, let's go there. Type B shuttle. It's in a crappy shuttle. Pleased to meet you. I scanned your service record before your arrival. You've been in quite a few battles, haven't you? Ever stop to think about the strain you're putting on your medical crew before you charge into combat? Of course you don't. No captain ever does. Nice to meet you too, Doctor. We've been hailing this Ocompan freighter for some time, but we're not getting a response, and our sensors cannot penetrate their shields. Their initial distress signals indicated that they were suffering from paranesti measles. I can treat it easily, if I can get onto the ship. 
Now that your ship is here, it should be trivial to board the vessel and assess the situation. Transport me aboard your vessel, and then my shuttle can return to Voyager. Okie dokie. Transport the doctor. Excellent. Your ship has more powerful sensors than my shuttle. Yeah, because it's a ship. Scan disabled ship. Warning. Ship and they're attack. firing on. Oh no, they're constricting us with an anchor. Okay, we're going to battle. Wow, die, will ya? Whoa, there's a lot of them. I am Gorm, leader of the Vatwa. <laughs> well, I have to say, number one, having that higher resistance has really helped me. You'll notice that I uh, was able to do very well there with that, those Vatwa ships. Also, uh, the increased flight speed and turn rate, I can tell the difference with that trait enabled. My turn rate is like, wow, look at that. Very cool stuff see what my stats actually are on that my turn rate my wow my turn rate is 34.9 degrees per second wow that is really incredible yeah no wonder why that's awesome okay cool and those resistances are helping all right let's see what the vaudoir gall has to say greetings i am gall leader of the vaudoir supremacy i apologize for the overzealousness of my soldiers this action was not authorized. Uh, I'm Admiral Rami Summers of the Arrow, by the way. I'm pleased to finally meet you. It appears your presence here in the Delta Quadrant has inadvertently caused some conflict between us. I would rather avoid any more unpleasantness. Would you be willing to meet with me face to face? More like you have caused some conflict. All right, yes, but I found such talks are best on neutral grounds. That is understandable. Do you have a location in mind? Um, there are not many areas of the Delta Quadrant where my people are not reviled. Uh, I know a place. Let's go to Neelix's uh, thingy. Oh, what a wonderful surprise! Is there anything I can do for you? Hello, Neelix. We need a neutral place for a diplomatic negotiation with Avadwar, and I was wondering if you could help. Diplomatic negotiations? I am Starfleet's ambassador to the Delta Quadrant. I would be more than happy to offer my services as mediator. As for the location, Dexa and most of our people are on new Talax now, but we still have the asteroid base and the Antaba system. It's mostly empty now, just a few cleanup crews, and the Kazon have been leaving it alone. It would be perfect. All right, well, thank you. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. Okay, got well. a place. Did you find a suitable location for our meeting? Yep. Talaxians. Are there still Talaxian communities? How odd. The site is agreeable. Send my ship the coordinates and I will meet you there. You don't I'm contacting the closest medical ship. They can investigate this further while we meet with Gaul. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go talk to Gaul.
Sir, we've, we've arrived in the Intaba system. Gaul's ship is already here and he is transported down. How did he beat us here? Whatever. Imagine using a medical emergency as a trap. The Vaudoir had no shame. Yep. I don't trust Gaul. He betrayed us on Vaudoir Prime. He'll do it again. Perhaps. It's good to see you again so soon. If I might make a suggestion, I would recommend only bringing two crew members with your away team. Gaul brought four aides. You'll have the doctor and myself, and bringing more of your crew down might look like you're trying to get an advantage on him. Gaul seems very touchy. Proper protocol will be important. Are you ready to beam down? Oh, I guess so. Let's take, um... Who do I want? I guess I want my healer, and we'll just even it out with my uh, engineering person. Who are you, Zarva? That way we have the full complement of careers. It's so good to see... Doctor, it's been 30 years! <laughs> you haven't aged a day! Well, yes. He's it's a, good to see you, too. He's yes. a hologram. He wouldn't. <laughs> we have a bit of time before we'll begin. We're giving the Vaudoir a fine Talaxian feast to help ease the tension. Well, you whipped Doctor, that up quick. you must tell me all you've been up to. Oh, Neelix, I couldn't. Not with the Vaudoir here. Uh, oh, God. But I suppose it is important that you hear about my many achievements since our last meeting. And my brilliant research was able to prove conclusively... Thus, I began my grand adventure into the challenge of writing Klingon opera. Oh, well, Brax and I agreed to never mention the incident again. <laughs> well, at least not to Dexa. <laughs> Neelix, the Vardwar have finished the appetizers and are waiting for you. Oh, well, we had better get going. W we can talk more later. Okay, well, that was fun. Do you remember Chef Jolax from the last time you were here? He's the one that has been serving the Vaudoir, their fabulous appetizers. Full bellies make for good conversation, I always say. He told me that Gaul is a little grumpy, but I'm sure you can handle him. Gaul is in the command room now, waiting for us. Jolax should be back soon to take everyone's orders for the main course. All right, well, let's go. Walk to conference room. I can do that. Everything is geared and ready. We're doing more critical severity now with our weapon. We even have some damage resistance. Let's just look real quick. Let's see. We have only a 13% physical resist. That's not much. But we have like 40, upwards 40% on energy resists. That's pretty nice. Cool. It says walk, not run, so I'm jogging. <laughs> oh, gotta use the turbo lift. Here we go. Nope, oh, you guys are teleporting on top of me. Ah, at last. I must say, your Talaxian friends are quite hospitable. But down to business. Our meeting is long overdue. Indeed, it's time to settle our differences. As do I. My people are damaged, in crisis. We are already at war with the Kabali, and with you, given your alliance's support for them. Then let us try to find an accord that benefits us both. Do you know why we fight the Kabali? Their world was once a Vadwa colony, one of our largest. And there is still a large cache of stasis tubes on the planet. Those are my brothers and sisters being held hostage. The Kabali are stealing them, taking their very identities and transforming them. I am aware of this. I saw the chambers. So you have seen my people. If they could speak, they would beg for release. This is a just war. I am trying to reunite families. How can that be wrong? You want to reunite Vodwar families by destroying Kabali families. That isn't justice. There can be no peace. Not after what they've done. Are you suggesting we are weak? That we should just lay down and die for them? No. We will not. 
No, but destroying the Kabali isn't right either. There are greater threats in the galaxy we must face. Do not try to pacify me. We will have our retribution. You have my offer. Abandon your alliance with the Kobali and support us, and we will be your strongest ally in the Quadrant. I'm not here to start a war with the Kobali. <laughs> Peace. You know nothing of what it means to be Vodwar. You need to understand. What do you mean we need to understand? What's all that about? The Vodwar have endured too much to make peace. Do you expect us to forget the destruction of our cities? The massacres of our people? The food's almost ready. What would you all like for your main course? I'll have a nice steak. You need to understand even the smallest fraction of our anger. No, <gasps> Jolax. He's dead, Jim. He's dead. Jim. I'm sorry. <laughs> Does that make you angry, Talaxian? No. It makes me sad. For Jolex. And for you. Then we are not done. Well, that didn't go well. I guess there's not going to be a peace between us for right now. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I like that. Ah! I guess they're dead. I like how you went, oh no. Oh no. Um, so, about that peace conference. Admiral, the entire Vodwar fleet is opening fire on the Talaxian ships. We've sent out distress signals to every ship in range. We'll do what we can to protect the Talaxians, but we can't hold out against this many ships. What happened? That happened. That's horrible. Do you think Gaul has any intention of negotiating good faith, or was this all an act? We're giving the Talaxians all the time we can to escape, but it's not looking good up here, sir. Some of the Vodwar have already broken off to pursue them. Your orders? Well, um, I need a tactical strike team at my location immediately. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm doing. We'd have to drop shields to transport or launch a shuttle, sir. If I do that, I'll lose the ship. We'll try to find some way to get help to you, but until things are under control up here, anything we do is risky. Fine. I need scans of this base. How many Talaxians are alive? Scans show two large groups of Talaxians in a storage room and the logistics area. They have the doors blocked, but there are a Vodwar trying to get in at both locations. It doesn't look good. I'm afraid you will only have time to rescue one group. Okay, do your best to save the Talaxians no matter what. Starfleet will not let more innocents die today. Speak with the doctor, huh? Time only to save one group? I do not envy your choice. I would go with you, but I cannot leave Neelix alone. And time is of the essence. I'm afraid you'll have to go on without us. Oh, no. fine. I'm going. I can't sit by and let the Vaudoir kill my friends. I, I won't be a burden. I promise. I have to do this. Well, stay close. Let's go. Let's go save the world. Oh, and here we go. Ooh. Vapey, vapey. Vaporized him. Very nice, I would say. Increased critical severity, increased resistances. This is nice. How do we choose who to save? Hmm, that is a good question. Choose which group to save. I don't know. The one that's closest. I'm right here, so this one. That's all there is to it. Just whoever's closest. I got no other ideas. We've saved the hostages, but they may be safer here. Tell the hostages to stay here. What about the people in logistics? 
Well, let's go try to save them too. But before we do that, let's grab one of these. <laughs> Where's the front door? Here it is. I couldn't find the door. I was lost. Okay, now we can run fast. Ah, let's get stuck. Let's try and see if we can save these guys. Maybe we can. Check vitals. Oh, they're all dead. Doctor, you have to save them. These are my friends. It's too late, Neelix. Too late. They are beyond my help now, Neelix. I'm sorry. Wow. So they really died. Wow. Star Trek went there. It's about time. I mean, some reality. Then we can still save the others. We have to get to the shuttle in the cargo bay. You can't save everybody. That's what the captain has to learn. You can't save everybody. Even Superman can't save everybody. I've sent a signal to the remaining Telaxians to join us here as soon as possible. And here they are. More Vodwar on the way! Defend the shuttle! More on the way! If I weren't a hologram, I'd be worried. Hmm. A large number of Vodwar are closing in. I'm afraid they may be too much for you to handle. Um, uh, maybe, maybe not. The Terrae are here to assist. After this, our debt to you is repaid. <laughs> the Torrey showed up. That's timely. Here come the Vodwar. That's not that many. I can deal with them. The Vodwar have been repelled. I would have words with you before you continue. You would have words with me? Come on, we did great. Alright, what words? Our help does not mean we are now allies. We are repaying a debt. Our ships are currently engaging the Vaudois fleet. It is unsafe for this shuttle to launch until they are defeated. We will return to our ships. I suggest you do the same. We will provide cover for your ship so it may drop shields to transport you. Well, thank you. Before I leave, though, I did notice this one over here. Okay. Let's go.
I knew this meeting was a farce. The word Vodwar means fool in ancient Talaxian. Did you know that? You thought me a fool who would swallow your insults without comment. A fool who would blunder into the trap you set with the Torey. I am not. Mm. This has destroyed any chance of an accord between us. How disappointing. I had thought you would be a valuable ally. Now you are just another victim. Mm, okay. It's go time. Voyager is here. We will not allow the Vodmar to escape. Okay, good. We could use your help. Wow, that was a really good battle there. Came close to dying, but um, managed to survive. You came to our aid when the Vaudoir attacked our homeworld. Now we have come to assist you. This discharges our obligation. Well, thank you for the assistance. How could they do something so horrible? We're no threat to them. We've done nothing but welcome them. And he just... He killed my friends just to make a statement. I don't understand how anyone would be so callous. They will be avenged. I don't blame you. <laughs> I agreed to let the Vaudoir come here. I put my people in danger. This is my responsibility. I just never conceived that even the Vaudoir could be so treacherous. They double-crossed us on Voyager and tried to take the ship, but slaughtering innocent people. My time on Voyager changed me. I saw the best that people could be. I forgot, or wanted to forget, how evil they could be. I promise you that Gaul will, f will face justice for with what With your he's permission, done. I'll lead the survivors back to New Talex. Then we can return with a security force to collect the dead. Farewell. I've been in contact with the USS Blackwell. They boarded the freighter in the Shenda system, but it was empty. It was all a ruse by the Vodwar to lure us into that system. Everything was part of this play Gaul wanted to perform. From the initial distress call to his intervention and offer to negotiate. And then he used a massacre to set his stage. That's the kind of man he is. And unless he's stopped, the entire quadrant may fall. Well, let us hope it does not come to that. Gaul has shown his true nature. I expected he was not dealing in good faith. But nevertheless, we had to make an attempt to find a peaceful solution to our problems with the Vaudoir. Now the war will continue. I grieve for all who have been lost, and for those who will fall before this conflict ends. 
senseless, meaningless death, I'll never understand. I hope Neelix and his people will be able to find some peace, and that Gaul will answer for his crimes. And I hope our paths cross again, perhaps under better circumstances next time. With your permission, I'll return to Voyager. Farewell, Doctor. And that mission is complete. Very cool. I can tell that some of the upgrades I've made here have definitely helped. Alright, let's turn that in. All that glitters. Gaul's actions were unconscionable. A senseless slaughter simply to make a point. And he wanted your sympathy. It's clear from your reports he had no intention of making peace. And that he would have twisted anything you said to meet his own agenda. He's a warmonger. <laughs> and one that must be stopped. Peace with Avadwa will not be attained through Gaul, but we'll keep looking for another way. Perhaps there's someone else out there who will be more reasonable. Expertise, expertise, personal reward, EMH Mark 1, Dilithium, let's take our kit reward. And let's see what that thing is all about here. Dilithium. So our kit reward is a Draw Fire Mark 13. Self-threat generation and fake expose foe damage debuff. 2400 threat generation plus 80 all damage resistance. I don't really like those kinds of things. So I don't want more threat. But uh, that could be a uh, module to sell for some energy credits. Uh, we will take this. Use this item to have an EMA, EMH Mark 1 join your duty officer roster. So definitely take that. We, have, uh, we now have the doctor an EMH Mark 1 here. A nurse, ground, chance to activate on EMH Mark 1 when using a hypo. So if we ever used hypos, which I don't, uh, that would uh, activate an EMH. Cool. We also have now a tactical kit 13, armor, cape, herf, weapon. See, weapon proficiency, armor expert, and kit performance. So that's a pretty cool, that's a pretty cool tactical uh, kit right there. Not going to lie. What do, what do I have here? I have willpower. You know what? This may be a better kit than I have now. Because this has weapon proficiency. This also has an armor expert. Improves ground armor. And it improves all of my kit modules. That is good. It's got four assault module and one strategic module. I don't know how that will uh, coincide with the modules I'm using now. But you know what? I think I'm going to use that kit. I think that's a very good kit upgrade. So what I'll do is off camera I will go ahead and equip that as my new kit because the, the only the kit I'm using now it only has willpower and it has increased damage versus undine we're not fighting undine and it only has willpower but this new one has weapon proficiency armor expert and kit performance so that's much better uh, I just need to see if what modules will work in it so what I'll do is off camera I'll check out my modules see if they work in it if not I may rearrange my modules and have different ground kit powers moving forward because I think I like that kit a lot better don't you guys agree the stats on that are better so we'll see how that does um, but I'll do that off camera because I want to experiment with some things and see what happens and then sell everything else um, and uh, other than that our next mission will be another patrol yeah Know your enemies uh, and assistance. Yeah, it's a whole other set of patrols in the uh, next mission. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Uh, uh.